a parallel beam of nitrogen molecules moving with a velocity v strikes the wall at an angle 30 degree so let's say this is the beam and it's striking the wall at 30 degree the concentration of the molecules is given as 0.1 into 10 to the power 19 molecules per centimeter cube find the pressure exerted by the beam on the wall if we are going to assume elastic collision so all these molecules they are going to hit the wall and they will reflect back at the same angle so we need to find what is the pressure exerted on the wall so we need to find what is the force exerted and then we can divide it by this area a so a dash is the cross section of the beam and a is the cross is the area of the wall itself so we are going to find the force by our standard mechanics equation that is force is rate of change of momentum dp by dt so we have uh, we have to find change in momentum per second so let's talk how much molecules are going to hit the wall in one second so that will be the length of the beam which is 400 meter because the velocity of the beam is 400 meter per second so again we need to find the force which is dp by dt so we need to find change in momentum in one second so whatever number of particles in a beam of length v which is 400 meter so all these particles are going to strike the wall in one second so whatever is the change in momentum of these particles that is the force so if you want to write that what i just explained so in one second v meter of beam will strike the surface now let's take one molecule so it's going to hit and reflect back so change in momentum of one molecule is 2 mv cos theta so the striking velocity is v cos theta it's reflected at v cos theta so 2 v cos theta into m so this is change in momentum of one molecule so we need to find the change in momentum in one second so that will be for this part of the beam so all these number of molecules are going to are are going to be reflected back so delta p in one second for this volume of the beam is total number of molecules in that beam times delta p and total number of molecules in that beam is given by n into volume because n is given as number of molecules per centimeter cube so volume is v into a dash so a dash is cross section cross sectional area of the beam so n into volume is total number of molecules hitting the wall in one second times delta p is a change in momentum for one molecule so n delta p is total change in momentum in one second for the beam so we get this which is our force so now pressure is force upon area so here a is the area of the wall surface not a dash so pressure is force upon area force is dp by dt which we just calculated so we'll put that value here so we get the ratio of a dash and a and you can see a dash by a is cos theta because if this angle is 30 this angle is also 30 so now you can imagine that for this right angle triangle cos theta is a dash by a so we get our answer